Good morning, boys and girls in Miss Foley's and Miss Hans classes. Today is the Friday, February 26, 2021. Not Dan, 21. We are going to begin just like every day with our morning work. So we're going to flip over to this page. We should have practiced writing the word a little yesterday, so that would have been two days in a row. We practiced it at school the last day you were here. Um, and now we are going to practice it again. Oh, we should have practiced it yesterday and then now for today. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. So we said today is Friday. Today's weather, I'm not sure. So choose today's weather. We are still continuing to work on ending sounds. So ant, taco, snail, horn. Then we're gonna write these words. F-U-N-N-Y, funny. As you continue to write it, you should say it. So F-U-N-N-Y, funny. Do that two more times. Then we're gonna write down D O W N down D O W N down. And write it two more times. Next, we're going to clap out the syllables. You are really good at this. Helmet and feet. Next, you're going to color the two pictures that rhyme. Sometimes people like to mark out the one that does not rhyme. And just because they rhyme all does not mean that they have to be spelled exactly the same. Because in the English language, sometimes different spellings sound exactly the same. Four, tissue, door. All right, we're going to write this sentence. Um, I'm actually going to write it for you so we can talk about what it looks like. So look at all the rain. But it has an exclamation mark, so we say, look at all the rain. I hope we're not looking at a lot of rain today. So we want to start with a capital letter. And we're going to write the other letters that go with that word right next to it. Then we're going to do a finger space. At all the space rain. And I can always just look right above it to see that I am writing it correctly. And when I make a dot, it's just a dot. Remember, not a big circle or big colored in space. When you're done with this, you'll put it right back into the front of your binder. Then you'll flip over to the red tab where you pull out the S in book. First thing I do is always the same. I pick my pencil and I'm gonna write my name. I'm going to get three colors in rainbow right. I wanna review rainbow writing just because I did see a few friends earlier this week not quite remember what rainbow writing is. So I grabbed three colors. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if they're close to the same color. And we're gonna go S N S N. If it's not perfect, that is fine. It's just working on the shape of the letter correctly. S N S N. And then my last color. S N S N. Snake. So snake, so we're gonna color the snake. We'll move on. You guys are really good at this. I've seen this week, I'm assuming Miss Hans's class is also just as good at this. So we're gonna choose a highlighter color. Out of these colors, there's only one color I could choose. So I would choose orange. Remember, we're only gonna use highlighter color. So orange, yellow, or pink. So we're gonna read the word and if it starts with S in, color it. So I like to do kind of slow around the edges. and then fill in the middle a little more quickly. If you can't remember, you can always circle this one so you can always look back up. So snip, and then we're gonna write snip here. Snip, snip. Okay, if I'm sounding this out, smell, smell. It is not a word that begins with S and N, so I will mark it out. And you'll keep doing that till you're done and you've written three words. Go to this page. Remember, this page is easy. We're just adding the S in and practicing reading those words. Snake, snail, and snowman. Okay, on the back, um, I want you to read these with an adult, unless you're 
such a good reader and you know words so well that you can do this on your own, then you can do it on your own. If it's a fake word, we're gonna mark it out. If it's a real word, we're gonna color it. So snip, snip is a real word. I snip with my scissors, snip the paper. We're gonna color that in all the way. Okay, the next word is snad. Snad is not a real word, so I mark it out. You'll continue reading and marking until you get to the end of the page. And then you're gonna put this in your plastic folder to return to school to your teacher. We are not putting completed work back in our binder unless it is the morning work or the writing book. So now we are gonna get the writing book out, which is behind our clear tab every time. And we'll put it in the clear tab when we're done. So you're gonna flip over. You all did the snowman writing at school this week with the help of your teacher. So today you are going to color this picture and complete the sentence. So think of all these snow activities and I want you to write, I like. So I is a red word that you guys all know and at the beginning of the sentence it starts with I and then you're gonna say like is also a red word. L-I-K-E, like. So if I was gonna write this, I would say I like tubing or I like sledding, because I have never been skiing or snowboarding. I might say, I like tubing and sledding, period. I think it is fun to slide down the hill fast. You can write whatever you want about it, but I do want you to write what you like, and then I want you to write another sentence about why you like it. Okay, when you're done with this, now remember to put it back behind the clear tab. And then you're gonna move on to math, so you're gonna turn to the blue tab where you will find this color by number subtraction. So we have done many of these, so you guys should know how to do this, but I'm gonna do show you a couple just for practice. So we're gonna do the equation in the box. So if I have five minus three, one way I can do it is with my hands. These are all below five, so I can use one hand for all of them. So if I have five and I take away one, two, three, I have two fingers remaining. I'm gonna write that number in the box. Okay, then I'm gonna go over here. And if I start with four and I take away one, two, I have two left. So I'll just write that somewhere in the box. Then if I have three and I take away one, I have two again. And you're gonna do that until all of them are, ugh, sorry, tongue tied, completed. Then you'll go color the code and then color the picture. So I do not have any of those colors out. You all do know how to do this though, but my first color I see is green. G-R-E-E-N is green. I'm just gonna color that one green so I know anywhere I see a one, I'm gonna color it green. I need blue for two. Oh, it's not a great blue, but it is blue. So anywhere I see two, I'll write blue. I'll color it blue. And then I need brown. So I'll color all my threes, B-R-O-W-N. And then my fours will be O-R-A-N-G-E, orange. And my fives will all be P-I-N-K, pink. So now that my um, code is colored, then I could go and color all the pictures. But don't forget to write your name. And when this work is complete, put it in your um, blue folder on the return to school side, your plastic folder, so that Miss Foley or Miss Hans can take that out for you. All right, finally, we're going to move on to um, science behind the orange tab. We're going to get out the paper that says teacher and dentist at the top. So one side says teacher, one side says dentist. We are going to do a color sort. And if you have paper, you can fold it in half and do it like we did on Tuesday where we sorted um, some other things when we did goods and services. So choose two colors. I would choose two very different colors. So I have an orange and a blue because those colors are very different. So the first thing I wanna do is write my name. <laughs> that noise is my crayon rolling off the desk. So I first, I wanna color the first square orange just like we do in our letter sorts or we've done on many other things, including science earlier this week at school. 
So you can either color the middle first and then go slowly around the edges or vice versa. Okay, then I'm gonna use my second color for the dentist. I would like you to pause if you've not and go on to Epic and read a book about the dentist and a book about a teacher. Although those are two professions you should be very familiar with because we have been learning about these in class and we just had Dental Health Week. Okay, so glue. Would I find glue in my, with my teacher or my dentist? Okay, so it is teacher. I hope my dentist doesn't need to use glue in my mouth, but especially not school glue. So I'm gonna color this whole entire square. I'm not going to just color the picture. I'm going to color the entire square. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to the toothbrush. Would my teacher use my toothbrush or have a toothbrush or a dentist? Now, I know sometimes in preschool you might use a toothbrush at school, but here at Kilgore in kindergarten, we do not use a toothbrush at school typically. All right, we're going to do one more together. And you're going to finish on your own. So next I have colorful crayons. I hope my dentist does not use colorful crayons, but I do hope my teacher has some colorful crayons for me to color with. So we're going to color these all the way in. All right, it will continue to the end. And then don't forget to do your 10 minutes on I Ready and read one book on Raz Kids. Have a great weekend.